Hey guys, what's up? Paladin here, and I'm still freaking sick. Anyways, <laughs> time for a $1,000 gaming PC build. Uh, to kick the build off, we got a CPU, the AMD 8350, 4.0 GHz. I don't know why I couldn't say that. 4 GHz, 8-core <laughs> processor. Running at about $200. I'm just going to say $200. It's $198.98, so... I don't really see, you might as well just make it $200. It's a $200 CPU usually anyways. Um, anyways, it's a very popular CPU. Everybody knows about the 8350 if you're into computers. Um, and it's overall about the same power as an i5. Personally, I think that in terms of video streaming and editing and stuff like that, it's better than the i5. But uh, in terms of gaming, they're about on par. Maybe the i5, get, i5 gets about 3 to 5 more FPS, but that's 3 to 5 more FPS and... If you got a great GPU like the one in this build, then you don't really need to worry about that too much. Um, next up is the CPU cooler. We have the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo. Um, and yeah, it's a very popular cooler, running at about $30. Uh, get a, it'll get you some pretty good, decent overclocks, actually. Uh, I think that this will, will, plus the motherboard, I think this would get you about maybe 3.4, 3.3... 3.5 in that general area of an overclock if you're curious uh, the motherboard is a ASRock uh, 990 FX Extreme 3 ATX AM3 Plus motherboard it is $120 has tons of features and stuff and like I said you should be able to achieve about roughly 4.4 4.3 I don't know why I'm saying 4.3 after 4.4 or 4.5 gigahertz um, around that general margin of area. So it's not a giant overclock, but it's something. It's going to get you a bit more performance for your dollar. Uh, next up is the memory. There is a ton of stuff in this build, by the way, so I apologize if I mess up on something. Uh, the memory is the G-Skills Ares 8GB, 2x4GB RAM, uh, running at 1600 megahertz. Uh, this is 75 bucks. And uh, 8 gigabytes is a standard for gaming. Uh, if you want more, you can throw more in there. But I personally think 8 gigabytes until you reach like $1,500 or something like that, that's when you can stick in like more memory. But, you know, <laughs> that's just my little opinion on that. Uh, the G-Skill Ares, though, is great. You know, everybody uses G-Skill. They use G-Skill. They use uh, Corsair. They use uh, Mushkin and Kingston, stuff like that. Those are some big name companies in terms of RAM. Great RAM, it'll get you by. Do the job. Next up, we got storage. The Kingston SSD now V300, 120 gigabyte solid state drive. SSD, if you will. Um, it is $80. And this is another popular one. I'm not sure if Kingston started SSDs or something like that, but theirs is like the cheapest. Uh, in terms of an SSD, and people love Kingston anyways, so it's like, hmm, might as well just slap it in there. Just like how I slapped my leg just now, if you heard that in the background. Um, anyways, that was pretty loud. <laughs> Next we have uh, a Western Digital Caviar Blue, one terabyte, 100 and tw uh, 700, my bad, 7,200 RPM uh, hard drive. And this is going to run you at about $60.00. And yeah, the Western Digital is a very popular, another popular company. Like I said, I try to use popular stuff in my builds. Um, and Western Digital, of course, is a great, it's a, they're a great company to make hard drives. I don't know why they don't make SSDs. Maybe they do. Maybe somebody can answer that for me. Uh, if they make SSDs or not, I haven't actually looked that up. But uh, this will go great with your SSD, with your OS, so you can boot up the computer fast and all that junk and put your games and stuff on the SSD. The non-important stuff can go on that hard drive or more games that just take up more space, which you'll unfortunately have to put on the hard drive. <laughs> um, next up is the video card. We have the Geoforce GTX 770 uh, 2GB video card. It's from Pony. Is it Pony? I'm just going to say PNY so people don't correct me on that. It's a PNY or Pony. I don't even freaking know how it's that company. <laughs> they're uh, they're partnered with NVIDIA, and a lot of people have bought from there before. They're actually at Best Buy a lot, too, I believe. So, um, But they're a great company. Uh, people like them, too. Not as much as, um, as uh, what is that other company's name? Is it, uh, I don't freaking know. I don't know, actually. <laughs> Uh, oh, EVGA, my bad. EVGA is another company that um, works for only for NVIDIA. Uh, PNY is another company that only works for NVIDIA. 
Um, this will run you at about $333. It has shipping, unfortunately. Uh, that's going to be something I'm going to talk about more in this build because there are two items, I believe, that have... No, there's only one item that has shipping in this build. That is the one item that has shipping. Uh, originally, it was going to be $323.99, but now it's $333.98. I don't know how that works. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Moving on, though. Uh, we've got the Corsair 200R again. I'm using this. I'm using this case, man. This case is great. Fifty-four dollars. Tons of features. Fits like whatever you want in there and everything. Awesome. Great stuff. Etc. I feel like I missed something here because this is this should not be shorter than the editing PC build. Oh, I remember now. I was explaining the the uh, the CPU to people and, and that took like a minute and forty seconds right there. But anyways. Uh, the Corsair CX 500 watt 80 plus bronze certified semi modular ATX power supply. Uh, I said in the last build, which should be the editing one that should get uploaded before this one, um, that I wanted to stick a better power supply in these builds. At least I said something around that. Um, however, you know, I just wanted to go out with straight power and everything, and I honestly couldn't fit a gold power supply in here. So I apologize for that. If you want to put a gold power supply in there, uh, then be my guest. If you're asking for a recommendation of a gold power supply to use, then just use the one that's in the editing build, which is the uh, Rosewell Capstone uh, 550 watt. Anyways, like I said, this is going to run you at $55. Actually, so is the case. So, <laughs> um, But yeah, uh, if you hadn't noticed, I've been using a lot of Corsair stuff in my builds. It's just because they're a great company, and you should buy stuff from them. You should buy stuff from PNY, too, because they're good probably not as good as EVGA, but, you know, they get the job done. Anyways, uh, like I was saying, the shipping is what kind of kills this. This is supposed to be $1,000. I never like going over my, uh, my title video build. I never do like going over, but unfortunately because of the shipping, it's a thousand dollars. It's a thousand and seven dollars. So it's seven extra bucks than a thousand and eighty, uh, nine cents. So I don't know why the shipping for that video card is so high but that's the cheapest i could find that video card and it has shipping unfortunately included with it so yeah whatever if you want to look up something else that's different that's possibly cheaper then you go ahead and do that this is slightly over a thousand dollars i'm pretty sure it won't bug the hell out of you <laughs> anyways be sure to like comment and subscribe for more guys and remember stay sexy peace